The departed have waited long enough for a proper burial. Our children will have one foot in the grave before they are baptized. My people, my people, what more do you want from me? What more are we to do? God help us, we need a priest. Hello, and welcome to Cloud of Witnesses, Journey with the Saints, a dynamic, full-cast retelling of the lives of the saints. A secluded village in Romania is spiritually dying because they need a priest. Journey with us today to hear this real story on how they are helped. In modern-day Romania, there was a little village in which the townspeople had no local priest to aid in their spiritual growth. Discussing the village's seemingly endless circumstance, two villagers were walking down a road from the town square. Marco, how are you doing? I'm all right, Andre. Work in the store has been busy. And how's your family, since your father-in-law's repose? They're doing better. Alessia is still taking it hard. Her father went unread before we buried him. Ah, he's not the first. I don't understand. What's the holdup? Can't the Patriarch lend us a priest for situations like my family's? I understand your frustration. People are tired of traveling long distances to go to a liturgy in the next town. My family and I are waiting for the opportunity for my son Alexander and his fiancée to get married. Has the mayor sent another delegation to the Patriarchate for a priest? They did today. I think they will announce the news at the town meeting tomorrow night. God help us. We need a priest. Down the street from where Andre and Marku conversed was the mayor's office. There, the mayor's assistant received the response back from the Patriarch to the town council. Mayor Kratu, the Patriarch has written back. Yes, Pavel? What did he say? (sighs) You know, the same answer as before. The people aren't going to like that. The following evening, the mayor told the unfortunate news to the village people at the town meeting. Just one priest, that's all we ask. There has to be an extra priest somewhere. Friends, friends, I know your anger and your disappointment, but we have to be patient. The departed have waited long enough for a proper burial. Our children will have one foot in the grave before they are baptized. My people, my people, what more do you want from me? What more are we to do? Pray. It seems like it's the only thing we can do at this point. The protests from the village eventually died down. After the village meeting, we find Andre and Marku walking together to their homes. (laughs) A miracle, Marku! A miracle is what we need to get a priest! (laughs) Seems so. Maybe heaven can let us borrow a saint to be our priest. (laughs) At this point, I'd be happy if even angels could help us. That night, many people in the village continued to pray that their pastoral needs would be met. And heaven did listen to their prayers. The next day, Andre went to work with his son, Alexandru. They worked as carpenters, and they had an appointment on the other side of the village. What's the job today, Papa? Uh, Miss Toma wants us to rebuild her patio. She already has the materials delivered to her house. Isn't her house across the street from our unused church? Yeah, it is. Father and son worked early in the morning until midday. They stopped work temporarily to enjoy lunch. 
As they were eating, a car was heard down the street. The car, a simple buggy, drove a little past Andre and his son and parked right in front of the church. Out of the buggy came a man in a cassock. The man stared at the church and turned his gaze to Andre and Alexandru. Hello there. Peace be to you. Andre's eyes grew big. Hello there! He and Alexandru sprang up and began to walk towards the priest. Wait, wait, are you a priest? Are you a priest? Yes, my child, I am. Father, bless! God bless you. Andre and Alexandru kissed the priest's hand. We thought that we weren't able to get a priest. He who I serve under granted this request. Thank God! Father, we need to let the rest of the village know that you're here immediately. Yes, yes we should. Tell the others to meet here at the church. I'll need to prepare the temple. Papa, I can get married now. Let us tell the others. The priest began to walk towards the church. Please, let Alexandro stay with me to help. Come in, Alexandro. Yes, Father, I'll help. My son, we have much work to do. Where do we begin, Father? We can start with your wedding. Yes, Father, thank you. The newly arrived priest was introduced to the rest of the village. The people were overfilled with joy at the priest's arrival. The new priest wasted no time in serving the people. That weekend, he married Alexandru and his fiancée Maria. The servant of God, Alexandru, is crowned with the servant of God, Maria. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The priest, a couple of days later, baptized countless infants and children who had waited to be baptized for years. The seventh of God, your host, is baptized in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The liturgy was served daily in the village, each followed by a Vesper service in the evening. Confessions were heard and homes were blessed. Funerals were conducted at the graves of the reposed. The people were thankful for the work of this man of God who seemed to appear out of nowhere. The new priest was often the subject of many conversations in the village. Maria, the village is alive once again. Praise God! Everyone is so happy with the work Father has been doing. Do you think Father is here to stay? I sure hope so. The people love him so much. He's an intelligent man, but he's also a humble man. I heard he healed Elena of her pneumonia. Father prayed over her and anointed her with oil. She said that her lungs opened for the first time in weeks once the oil touched her. I believe it. God works through holy men. The villagers gathered for liturgy the next morning. The liturgy was otherworldly, as have been the other services performed the past month. After the liturgy, Father blessed the people and motioned to them to sit. Brothers and sisters, children of God, I had the blessing to serve you all this month and to get to know each of you. Truly, God has graced us with his presence and will continue to remain with you as long as you obey and seek him. Having said this, I want to inform you that I have accomplished my work and I will leave now. Father, you just arrived. Now you are leaving? I know this is hard to hear, but I must go back to where I came. But Father Nectarios, who will replace you? We need you. The villagers pleaded with their newfound priest but they realized he was serious and urgent to go. So instead of asking him to stay, they thanked him. Thank you, Father, for serving us and for an example 
of a loving shepherd. Glory to God for all things. I have been blessed to serve you. It's been a while since I had an opportunity to lead a liturgy, and I'm filled with joy to see you all delight in Christ and his kingdom. The priest bid farewell to his flock and went back into the buggy he arrived in. The buggy drove up the street into the hills where no one could see the car. Some of the villagers out of appreciation traveled to Bucharest to thank the patriarch in Romania for sending them their newly beloved priest. Your eminence, you have guests who would like to speak to you. Please bring them in. Greetings, your eminence. God bless you. Have you come to ask for a priest again? No, no, your eminence. We've come this time to thank you for sending us a priest. He fulfilled all of our needs. We can go for a while until you find a permanent replacement. Forgive me, but what priest? I never sent a priest, let alone found one for you. Well, your eminence, we have had a priest with us for a month, and he performed his duties. Let me ask the chancellor if he sent a priest to you. What is this priest's name? Nectarios. Deacon, please contact the chancellor. Your eminence, he can't find Father Nectarios in the records. This is troubling. He baptized our children, married some of our neighbors, and conducted funerals. Did this man give you his papers or log the mysteries he conducted in your temple? Of course, your eminence. They're all in our church's book. I need you to retrieve those books so I can examine them and figure out who this priest is. The villagers returned to their village and retrieved the books for the patriarch. Upon receiving the books, the patriarch read through them until he found the entries of Father Nectario. I see the entries are in Romanian and his signature is in Greek. My God! God is wondrous in his saints. What is it, your eminence? Saint Nectarios has visited you. Saint Nectarios did visit the village to help the neglected flock. The news of Saint Nectarios' appearance spread throughout Romania and has become an internationally known miracle. One of the villagers who had witnessed the miracle went on a pilgrimage to the Greek island of Aegina, where Saint Nectarios lived and served as an abbot. The monks there were informed of this miracle, and to this day, this story of Saint Nectarius the Wonder Worker is told. Holy Father Nectarius, pray to God for us. This is Cloud of Witnesses, Journey with the Saints. So you're probably already noticing something a little bit different this time uh-huh. around. Indeed. We are really excited. Um, about Cloud of Witnesses' journey with the saints in terms of the growth um, that that this podcast is experiencing right now, the support of people like you watching it right now. We are so grateful. We're so thankful. And we're very excited to announce, Nick, that we are now going to be introducing a video element to Mm -hmm. Cloud of Witnesses, to our channel, to Cloud of Witnesses Radio. Yeah. Nick, what are we going to be doing? Yeah, all sorts of stuff. We're going to have discussions with our voice actors on the on the episodes that we do on the Lives of the Saints. We're also going to be doing interviews with other guest speakers and also just talking about certain subjects, whether it's popular topics, theological topics, uh, etc., all from the framework of the teaching and examples of the saints. So there's always something to learn from, from the example and teaching of the saints and everything will always be revolving around the foundation that they've set. So you don't have to rely on, on, on us. Yes. Don't worry. Thanks be to God for that. Absolutely. So Nick had this great working title. We're thinking of calling it thinking like the saints, and it's going to just be a, an extension. If you can think of it like our episodes, like what we just heard, the story of St. Nectarios, this kind of this uh, little anecdote from his from his story, 
carrying on that conversation into a discussion with our voice actors, what was it like to, to act out this role, right? To, to, to kind of jump into those shoes for a little while, to be in those moments and to get their insights and their thoughts. And excitingly, you guys, we're Lord willing going to be releasing these just a couple days after the release of the main episode. Yeah, that's that's the plan. That's the hope and the plan. <laughs> but exactly. no, thank you everyone for the continued support. And we pray that all of our content, everything we make, continues to edify everyone who listens. So thank you. 100%. And, look forward, and look forward to the discussion that we have, uh, that we have recorded on St. Nectarios on this episode that we did. So Absolutely. we're not going to talk much about, about this episode that you just heard this time, but look forward to our next episode on the discussion with the live with the voice actors on it. Absolutely. I'll say, Nick, I think it'll be interesting, you know, Lord willing. It was a very interesting recording session um, for St. Nectarios. Um, hopefully, you don't notice anything different. Um, but it, it just, let's just say that it was a challenge in the early stages of this episode, recording it. And some of that, I think it was uh, Dominique, Nick, one of our voice actors, actresses said, she said, it's so fitting, like the life of St. Nectarios, who suffered so much and, and had to overcome so much in his life, in his life of faith, so too, you know, obviously on a much smaller scale, we had to kind of really work through to get to the point of the episode that you just heard. And so we really do uh, want to just uh, remind you that none of this is possible without the grace of God, without the, the prayers and intercessions of the saints like St. Saint Nectarios making this possible. Because this one, you guys, it almost didn't happen. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed. So we're very excited uh, to bring that to you. We hope that you guys are also excited. Please let us know your thoughts. Um, Nick, where can people find us all over the internet? Yeah, by God's grace, really, if you if you look up Cloud of Witnesses Radio or Cloud of Witnesses Journey with the Saints, you can find us on basically any platform. Uh, by God's grace, we are on it. So, yeah, absolutely. We appreciate uh, you being here to the end um, and we look forward to seeing you in the comments and look forward to this next upcoming episode, you guys. A couple yeah. days away, um, the conversations, thinking like the saints, uh, discussions yeah. with our voice actors and other, other elements. We hope to see you there. God bless. I'm John and I was the narrator and Marco. I'm Hannah and I played Maria and narrator three. <laughs> and I was Andre. I'm Nick, and I was a couple guys in the background, and I did the sound effects. I'm Micah, and I was Mayo Cretu. I'm Dominique, and I was Naomi. I'm Jeremy, and I was Deacon McHale. I'm Chloe, and I was Narrator One. I'm Dominic, and I was a patriarch, and Alexandru. I'm Simeon, and I was Villager One, and Saint Nectarius. God bless you. And that's a wrap. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Cloud of Witnesses, Journey with the Saints. We hope it proved to be exciting and inspiring for all of our listeners. May God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, and all the saints guide us all to the heavenly homeland. We hope to see you next time here on Cloud of Witnesses, Journey with the Saints.